Hey everybody, Kylene here from Fashion Crushes in Downtown Casper with Wednesday Wardrobing Live. Um, this month we are combining all of the fashion trends that we've talked about all um, through October and putting it all together, um, combining our accessory trends, our makeup trends, our style trends, our fabric trends, all of it together um, creating some great outfits for you guys just want everybody to know um, you are definitely going to want to come visit us for pink friday that is happening this friday we are open until 7 p.m so it's our first late night shopping option for you guys we have so many cool things happening we have Swag bags valued at $50 for the first 10 people to make a purchase of 75 or more and that purchase can be online or in store. We have a Kendra Scott sale that's actually starting tomorrow. So if you're a Kendra Scott fan, you're going to want to get in tomorrow and check that out. We've got 30% off some styles, 25% off other styles, actually 25% off everything. 30% off um, some specific styles and then a gift with purchase. So if you spend $100 on Kendra Scott, you're going to get a free Kendra Scott necklace, which is just beautiful. Um, so that's happening. And then we have 20% off of our um, Sweetwater Decor little mugs that are so cute. And at the outlet, we've got 20% off Fit Kicks and buy one, get one half on our $15.99 racks. Um, and then from 4 to 7 here at Fashion Crossroads, we're going to have a sip and shop and celebrate our 50th anniversary. We're being um, uh, spotlighted by the downtown, the Downtown Business Association. So we've got a cake, we're going to have some, some fun little sips, and we're going to um, enjoy that. And then we're also uh, participating in uh, the boutique bingo or the Pink Friday bingo that's happening downtown. There's several businesses that are participating in that. So you want to make sure that you watch my video, um, which I'm going to film right after I'm done with this, on everything Pink Friday. All right. So just so you know, that is all happening this Friday. All right. So um, there's. Um, I love this color. It's a new color for this season. It's um, there's lavenders um, have been really trendy now for several seasons. I love this winter version of it though because it's almost like a plummy lavender. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. So I built this little outfit that we're going to do tonight around this gorgeous color. So we've got this great jacket. It's got um, the frayed edge here, the unfinished edge. So that's super trendy. It's a little bit cropped. So that is also trendy. And then, of course, it's corduroy, which you know if you watched all of my trend videos in October, you know that corduroy is just a huge fabric this season. So this was kind of my inspiration piece for this little outfit that we're putting together. And then I loved this sweater. So lots of trends happening with this sweater. This is a funnel neck. So funnel necks are um, also very popular. They're nice because they give you a little bit of a turtleneck, but it's loose. So if you don't like that feeling of it being too tight, this is a great option. I also love the beautiful yarn in this. You can see all of those gorgeous colors, all of the important colors of the season. You've got your rust. Um, there is um, a lighter lavender in there. Um, there's some blue in there. There's some cream in there. Just really, really, really pretty. I love the little bit of rust in there, how that just warms it up. It, this sweater is really cute, paired underneath this um, corduroy jacket. So let me get that put together for you so you can see that. And fall is all about layering. Um, and so <clears throat> I love that about fall, how you can um, pair up nubby textures and smooth textures, and it works because you've got all of the colors in common. So that is really pretty together. I love that. And then you can go a couple different ways with this. So you could do it with a really nice kind of clean, dark denim pant. This one is the flared leg pant. So it's a boot cut and it has the raw unfinished edge. So really, really fun. So you can put that together and that would be a great kind of dressed up casual style. We're going to look at shoes in here just a second. 
You could also do a colored denim jean. So I love this one with, again, the flared bottom, really nice boot cut. You go for something monochromatic. I think that is really, really pretty as well. Or you can easily add this with a slack and dress up that kind of more casual jacket by putting it with a really nice wide leg slack. So three different options that you could do to change up this look depending on what bottom you're using. And then for shoes, I, I got three different options. So if you wanted to do something office worthy, I think something like this is a great shoe. I love this shoe for winter because it does have the closed toe, but it's still a nice heel and it's a very wearable heel. So something like that would just take that whole outfit and keep it very office worthy, especially if you were doing those beautiful wide leg slacks. And then if you were doing the cute jeans, I love them paired up with the fun tennis shoes, the little leather tennis shoes, really cute look, keeps it very trendy and very casual. And then another option is to do the fun boots. And these ones are navy blue, but they have this iridescent um, detail on them and there is purple and plum in there. So those paired up with these um, really cute colored jeans I think would be adorable and then again adding this um, on the top so that's what I would do with shoes for that and you're getting you're kind of getting at all the trends there and then for this outfit I thought black is going to be a great choice I think you could also do a rust colored um, purse with if you wanted to kind of get a little bit more funky, a little bit more edgy, you could do a rust colored purse and pull that rust out of there, which I think would be kind of fun. Um, but a black purse, of course, is gonna be a great option. And then if you wanted a nice scarf option, I thought that um, kind of focusing on that gray that is in the sweater would be really pretty. And this would make it a little bit cooler as far as um, color tones are concerned. But I love this gray um, scarf paired up with the sweater, just keeping it looking very chic, very wintry. And then your like denim on the bottom. I think that is really, really pretty as well. So that gives you several different options, several different ways you could go with that. And then for jewelry, I picked a couple of options. So you could go with this kind of natural Tagwa jewelry if you're more, you know, into natural, kind of sustainable, a little bit more earthy kind of a feel of jewelry. Or I also really liked this for a little dressier, this new mica that we just got in with the beautiful purples uh, and the kind of the pink stone. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous also paired up with this jacket. And then for makeup, for um, eyeshadow, I picked this really pretty kind of light pink. It's called Pink Frost. And then I chose a gray, kind of like a smoky gray color for your crease. I think those two colors would be really pretty. And then you could even add a little bit darker pink in there if you wanted the, the three colors. So you could use this one as your highlighter and then the darker pink as your all over eye and then this as your crease color. But I think that smoky gray and that pink would be very pretty paired up with this palette that we've got going on. And then for lipstick, I love this. I think that would be gorgeous. This is called um, Blush from our Lip Sense brand. And I think that would be really, really pretty worn with that um, plum. And it's also gonna be really gorgeous back with these um, other colors that I chose for your eyes. And then for your blush, I really like this. It's a really nice soft kind of pink color that is called Toasted Rose. So I think this whole palette would be really pretty as a palette to go with all of these colors. All right, so that is your pulling it all together video for tonight. 
Thank you for watching. Hey Beth, how are you? Make sure that you share this video um, and give me thumbs up and comments and anything else. I love it all. All right, you guys have a good night.